What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Carol. This reading here is for my Scorpio zodiac sign. We're gonna just dive in and see what messages need to come through for you, Scorpio. All right, what are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear at this given moment? What are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear at this given moment? Oh, we got pentacle and respect. What are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear at this moment? I just heard, put some respect on my name. Put some, put some respect on my name. <laughs> What are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear at this given moment? Oh, yeah, power. Beautiful. What are the messages in the winter time? Yeah, the Yule rebirth energy. Scorpio, again, we've been pulling this energy here. I feel like you're about to go through another rebirth in um, winter. You've already, because winter is over already. You've already went through one major rebirth here. And I know, I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, but I feel like you're going to be going through another rebirth in winter. But it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be a lot better this time because you're our, you've, this rebirth that you previously went through is brought so much power, so much respect towards your name here, towards you. Banishment, protection. You got the protection card, the banishment, and the rebirth. See, a lot of you, this, this past winter time, you've been protected. You might not have known it. People have been like leaving out of your life. This hex with the banishment card that were wishing ill on you, that weren't believing in you, that thought you were crazy, that thought, you know, thought that, oh, this person's going out of their mind. Something's wrong with them. What's, you know, what, what is talking about you behind your back? All that kind of stuff. Like you had to go through a rebirth to realize people, the fakes for the fakes. People who are truly your friends, they will always support you. You know, spirit and the universe has been protecting you this entire time with this protection energy. That's why people have been dropping out of your life, out of your life like flies. You've been trying to figure out, like, why why don't I hear from so-and-so anymore? Why haven't I hear, heard from yada, yada, yada anymore? Homecoming. You're being called forward to step into your power here. You're being called forward to be the healer that you truly are, to help heal the world, to help other people awaken, to help other people to come forward, stepping into the power that they have. And there's been people that's been on your path that aren't meant to be there anymore. It's time time to let go of them and maybe you weren't able to let them go so spirit had to step in and, and banish them for you but they're for you it's for your higher good okay you got the respect card you got the power card look at there witch's hat and you got watchtower of the north winter so i do feel like something is coming in so let's see here let's pull out a different deck let's Let's do this deck. This here, y'all, I bought this deck. It's called the After Tarot. But let's see. What about this respect card? What is this respect card about? Respect card for Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. Talk about the respect card. Eight of Pentacles. You see, you're making money. You're growing. Your money is growing and there's people watching. Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever energy you're putting out is the energy you're getting back. You're building, you're growing, you're creating. Look at that. I like this card because this card here on the, on the original Rider Waite deck, he's working, right? But this is after he has completed his work. Look at that abundance here. It's in golden, like a, in a golden case here. He's finished his product and look how successful he is here. All right? Look at that. He's given, giving money. I mean, he's kind of breadcrumbing, but he's giving his money towards this guy. He's already given it to them, but he's giving it to somebody else as well. Okay, so he's, remember in the, the traditional right of weight, there's two people sitting on the bottom and he's giving one person some money, but he's already given them money and now he's giving somebody else. So it's like, whatever energy you've been putting out, you're getting it back here. And people are watching. Page of Swords energy. There could have been people that thought that you wouldn't make it this far or thought that you weren't going to make it where you are. And look at you. You're gaining respect. All people can do is put some respect on your name because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're walking in your life's purpose, your life path. And you're being blessed by the universe because the universe is saying, thank you. Thank you for, for doing what I asked you to do. Thank you for living your truth. They always say when you're living in your purpose and you're living in your truth, you starting out, you may not have money or people may not. You may not be able to be successful, but as long as you're living in your truth and you're living in the energy of love, the universe always finds a way to bring uh, stability to you. And stability doesn't have to be money. I mean, but here we're talking about money, pentacle, respect. OK, we're talking about money. We're talking about success. We got the pentacles here as well. We're talking about abundance in the material realm as well. 
So long as you're doing what you love and what you're what you're doing on your life purpose, you will always find a way to the universe will always find a way to um, give back to you. Let's see what's on the top. The seven of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. Come on now. Pentacle, pentacle, pentacle energy. Look at you because you're so loving, caring, nurturing here. Now you're sitting back looking. OK, now you're not working, thinking, OK, what should I work on anymore? You're you're able to reap the benefits, reap the benefits. <laughs> OK, you're able to pluck from it like, OK, look, I, I, I think I'm going to take from here. I'm going to use this on this. I'm going to take from here and use this over here. You're successful here. And it's all because you're loving, caring, nurturing here. And now your money is to the point where you can do things, where you can create things, where you can give to other people, where you can give back to other people. And I see that's what you're doing as well, Scorpio. It's like. The universe wants to make sure the people that they give blessings to, those people are able to give back to other people, show love to other people. You know, what you give out is what you get back. What about the power card here for Scorpio? The Wheel of Fortune. What about the power card here for Scorpio? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, y'all. Things are about to change, like, unexpectedly here. You got the Wheel of Fortune in the tower. You're stepping into this power energy here, all right? It's like you're charging up, and here it is. And if you look on her hat, she has a pentacle as well. Pentacles are also like ways of protection, but it's also of ways of like, it represents like money, success, abundance here in the, in the physical realm here. So with this wheel of fortune turning and the tower being here, fate is in is is coming into balance here for you the wheel is turning in luck in your favor here and so you're about to receive a lot of luck and it's going to be out of nowhere it's very unexpected here four of wands energy here this is that home energy this is the 11 11 living in your purpose living in your life path here queen of wands energy queen of wands is about um She's a passionate, fiery type of person. She goes after her goals. She goes after her successes. She is also the entrepreneur type of energy. So if you've been starting a business, this is the universe letting you know that things are happening for you. Some of you are buying a home. Some of you are moving. Some of you are relocating. Some of you are able to uh, redecorate your home because of the money and things like that that's about to come in here. What's at the top? The Six of Wands and the Two of Swords and the Magician. Success, recognition. You got this in the last reading that I just did. The Two of Swords energy is a little stagnation, okay? But it's because your manifestations are coming. They're they're on their way, okay? They've been a little, I feel like they've been a little stag, a little stagnant. And you're trying to figure out like, why aren't these coming here? Why aren't these coming? But I see it's, it's like um, as above, so below. It's still stuck in the energy of coming down from above, if you get what I'm saying. Let's let's see. Clarify the Two of Swords real quick. Why the stagnation? Yeah. They're on their way. Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. It's the Knight of Cup, the uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of the deck, okay? So it is the one that takes some time. This isn't something that grows in two days, three days, a month, two months. This takes some time. It could take six months. It could take a year, just depending on what you're working on. But with you here being in this Two of Cups energy, which is in perfect alignment in, the, in your divine feminine and divine masculine energy, you're able to create because you're in alignment. You're able to bring down what you need to. This is about control. This is about allowing things to come towards you. This is like the emperor and empress energy. Okay, you have a balance of both, which is what you're supposed to have. Okay, it's not always love. Two of Cups, yes, it can be love finding your other half, but it's also you finding your other half in the spiritual realm. You being in alignment with your divine feminine, divine masculine energy because we have both within us. And so now that you're in this alignment and you have came together, you're able to bring the success down here. It's just taking a little minute with this Two of Swords. It feels a little stagnant, but you're being recognized for it. Things are starting to happen. The tower, again, is letting you know unexpectedness, okay? This is the universe coming in, knocking ish away that no longer needs to be there. And it's time for you to be recognized here. All right, let's see. What about... Let's see, what about this watchtower of the north? What is this about? Nine of pentacles. Eight of wands. Let me tell you something. The world card, you're expanding, you're growing, okay? Nine of pentacles, eight of wands the world card at the bottom of the deck and then look the ten of wands is here you've put in all of the work you've done all the work look king of pentacles you put in all of the work you're done 
in the traditional right away, this Ten of Wands, he's still carrying these, but here he's not anymore. He's done. He's made it to his destination. Now it's time for you to expand. Now it's time for you to grow. A lot of you, this is social media. You're going viral. You're getting known. You're getting recognized. People are seeing you here. Others of you, you're selling online. You're going out um, international, being known by different people, lots of people, all eyes on you, the world, knowing who you are. The Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, things are going to be taken off for you. A lot of you, in the in this past winter time, this has been taking off for you. You have been hitting some type of success. But others of you, you will be seeing from now until the winter time going into, uh, when is winter? Like November, December. By the end of the year, baby, you're going to look back and you're going to say, dang, look at all. Look at all that I have accumulated over this time. Look at all of this this success all of this abundance that I have and let's be real abundance is in all different forms it doesn't necessarily have to be pentacles or money or things like that but that's what I'm seeing for you is money financial success financial abundance here coming in for you and it's coming quickly quickly you're like from now until the end of the year you're gonna walk into so much success here let me see what's at the top the Sun yes the Queen of Swords the devil and the king of cups and a lot of you this the reason why this is happening is the sun is the happiest card out of the deck let me show you that first the happiest card out of the deck this represents abundance this represents a birth towards a new beginning okay giving birth to something some of you this could be pregnancy as well but this queen of swords the devil and the king of cups see you have you're having to cut away people that mess with your emotions they get your emotions out of whack here and you're learning that and the reason why you're having to learn that is because your emotions, Scorpio, are so important. It's what keeps you in balance. If your emotions are off balance, maybe with a relationship or with a job or a thing like that, you can't be living in that energy of love. You can't be living in that energy of enjoyment, of having fun or, or love doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if you hate a job, you're not going to want to keep going there making that money. Or if you hate doing something like a side gig, you're not going to keep doing it. It's not going to motivate you. But if you enjoy it, and it makes you feel balanced and it makes you feel happy for example a relationship if you're in a relationship and that relationship makes you feel happy it always keeps you in high vibe it makes you want to keep going but when you feel somebody tearing away at your emotions or when you feel somebody trying to manipulate your emotions or trying to do anything when it comes to your emotional side that messes up your intuition or anything like that you're not afraid to cut them away anymore so you have went through a transformation, Scorpio, because you're in this Queen of Swords energy of cutting away, letting go. If something doesn't feel right, no, it's time to let that go. Because I'm in this energy of love and abundance and happiness. And this is where I'm going to stay at. And this is where your blessings are going to come from. I'm not saying you have to be happy 24-7. That's not what I'm saying. But when you're in this high vibe energy of enjoying your life, I mean, yeah, we all have our down moments and things like that. But what's important is you get back up. Okay, you get back, always get back up. But I see so much abundance and, and success coming in for you, Scorpio. Wow. All right. Let's see. Let's get your fortune cookie cards. What what fortune cookie messages does Scorpio need to know at this moment? Mm, mm, mm. First of all, you got planning. Now's the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. I told you. Financial gains are more than likely. It's time to plan. Set a plan. Make sure you're setting goals. Okay. You're being uh, disciplined on yourself here because I'm telling you, it is on its way. The tower is hitting this wheel of fortune. This is faded. This is meant to be. This is meant for you. Okay. The universe is coming in now. You're stepping into your power. Now you know your worth. Now you know who you are. That's what it's all about. You know you're supposed to be a tarot reader. Okay, here you go. Here's your blessings. You know that you're supposed to be a natural healer. Here you go. Here's your blessings. You know that you're supposed to be out there motivating and, and preaching to people, telling people, hey, get up off your butt and get out there and, and learn how to make money on your own or learn how to live your life. Whatever it is that you're doing, now it's time for you to have your blessings. And look at here. Personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. I told you, you this is only a taste, just a taste of what you're about to experience, Scorpio. You're about to step into the most prosperous time in your life. 
You're just now seeing it. Like you've been putting in all of this work. Okay. You've been giving back. You're like, okay, it's coming. It's on its way. You not hit some type of milestone. Something has started to come in for you. You're starting to see your work and seeing how it's paying off. But what you don't see, you're going from the six to the eight to the nine of pentacles. And I I'm telling you, by the end of this year, Scorpio, I don't know why I'm getting that because of this winter card. I'm getting the end of this year. By the end of 2022, Scorpio, you are going to be so successful and abundant that everybody that ever doubted you will be the ones praising you. Will be the ones saying, damn, look at Scorpio. How did they do that? How did they do that? Like, it's going to start taking off. I'm telling you. Okay. So I'm going to leave your reading there. This is a bomb reading, y'all. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you all so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.